had a couple people ask me about the new feeders we've been making. Um, we're out here putting a few more together. And I thought I'd just do a quick little video on how we, on how we do it. Um, pretty simple. This is just basically a, a juice box. That's the finish. That's a finished one. That makes a nice little grab for the for the lid. That's just a 14 gauge piece of wire. Um, punch a couple holes in the back of it. I like to use a piece of red hot wire to stick through there. If you try to drill it, you would probably crack it. And then the base is nothing more than a inch and a half, 90 degree piece of PVC with a plug. And then you just set that on a grinder and just push it in and cut out that little piece. I like having the lip, I keep the lip in the front so they can't drag the, the feed out. But that's pretty much pretty much all there is to it. The only thing that kind of makes it work without too much feed coming out is we take a little piece of one inch piece of PVC, that's thin gauge, not the heavy gauge. And that's inserted into the mouth. And that's uh, Welch's grape juice or something is the container but we chose that one because it's flat, hangs flat up against the wall. But that's it. We uh, we got probably a, another 50 to build and we'll be wrapped up. The lid that goes on the top is just a, a knockout lid, two inch. And then I just put a couple of screws in there just so that when you go to take the lid off, you just, it's, it's kind of weighted, put some weight on there. That way the birds won't knock it off. It's kind of heavy. That's it. That's kind of how we put them together. Here's our little rat trap. <laughs> they don't pull out of that one. <laughs> but that's it. I just thought I'd share. I had a couple people ask me about it. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Mike. I just wanted to show everybody some of these feeders I've made. Um, some of these I've seen kind of modified, put my own little spin on it. Um, I have seen this from Slightly Redneck. I changed it up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell exactly what I've done. I put a bowl inside of here with little feeders. Um, so this holds quite a bit. Plus you could actually put more down on the sides, put your lid on it. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but you know, they go in there and as they peck, it pulls off to the side. Um, but that's one that may work for a lot of folks, um, works for me. This is another one I've made. I've kind of changed it around. Um, I don't know if you can tell exactly how that works. It's just a slant, has the little wedge in there to catch the food, and it too holds, it holds quite a bit, holds a whole jar. You can kind of tell how that works. It falls down there and as they feed, it uh, they just reach through and grab it. It's kind of a no mess. This is the one, I just actually pulled that one out of my pen. It works real well also. Actually, this lid just lifts off. I guess you can see just how simple this is. It's just a piece of wire with that on there. And um, it holds a extremely large amount of food. Um, you can put two or three of those in there and it is, it is no mess. Um, I made that so you can pull the container in and out. Um, I 
This is basically a little version of that. This pops open. Um, you can see what's down inside of there. And then down along, they just come in. It's got a little opening, kind of a gravity feed. I didn't make any of these over 12 inches, so they would fit in just about anybody's anybody's pen. This holds here again. This holds about five of these. Kind of the same concept, if you can see in there. But none of these spill any food, so they all seem to work really well. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Um, it just holds a tremendous amount of food. That's not a five gallon bucket, but I have done them out of five gallon buckets. Um, this just comes apart. Very simple to make. You can make this in less than five minutes. In a couple of these, you see these little flanges. Those come off of a vent dryer. It goes, takes it to the outside. I got it at Walmart for like four bucks. But that's, that goes on there, screws on there. That drops down inside of there. Then you can fill this whole thing with feed. And it, and it holds a lot. And kind of the same thing. They just go down, they go down in there, get their food. So that's pretty much it. A um, bunch of different styles. I'm sure different styles would fit people. But that's it. I thought I'd just share that. Thank you.